United Airlines reports fifth incident in over a week as U.S. bound flight returns to Australia. By the way, this is after Boeing lost four billion dollars of valuation in a single You're saying day. there was a, a new incident? Another yes. one. Yes. An, an, it was a DJ Since Khaled. everything that has happened, another one. Yeah, there's yeah. a DJ another Khaled one. of airlines. Shout and out another Miami. one. Yeah, Jeez. so and by the way, it, 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 even United told Boeing to stop making the Max 10s the airline ordered. Look, can you imagine, like, hey, man, stop building this. We're not interested. But United Airlines Boeing 777-300 aircrafts suffered a uh, mid-air fuel leak and was forced to make an emergency landing Monday, marking the fifth incident the airline reported in a little over a week. United Airlines 830 took off for a 14-hour journey from Sydney to uh, San Francisco, but only two hours into the flight, the plane had to be redirected over a maintenance issue. Monday's incident is the latest in a string of mishaps suffered on board. Uh, a Boeing aircraft on March 4th, the Boeing 737 was forced to make an emergency landing in Texas just minutes into a flight after flames exploded from one of its jet, jet engines. Jeez. A shocking video from the ordeal showed flames spewing. Do you have that video, by the way, to show that, Rob? Do you have the video? I mean, can you imagine you're on a flight? And I'm, by the way, I've been on a flight that this has happened. The vo- and the, we were on, on our way to Hawaii. And I'll tell you here oh the story. But go, go ahead and play this clip, Rob. Oh, my God, bro. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we realized something happened outside. We realized yeah. something <laughs> happened <laughs> outside. <laughs> what the hell are you talking you about? You're on a flight. You're like, so we're on a flight to Hawaii. It's me, Mario, and Paul, and a couple of our guys. And all of a sudden, the plane starts going really slow, and it goes lower. And everybody's freaking out and said, we're going to have to turn around on the way to Hawaii. We're turning around. I asked the f- uh, flight attendant, I'm like, hey, is everything okay? I looked at her face. It was not. She didn't answer. <laughs> she was so scared. She ran off. She wouldn't even. That's when I knew something was going down. Oh my God. When we landed, there's like 50 fire trucks waiting for us. Then we're looking outside. The engine was on fire the entire time. What? Yeah. It was, it was wild. So what the- it is a very scary feeling. But this is losing a lot of credibility right now with this taking place. And this, Go ahead, is, and this is, dude, like, if you think about it, the doors are flying off. The wheels are flying off. Yeah. The, the, there's, there, yeah. <laughs> bro, if I was, you know what? Terrorists, right now, they're probably like, really, they're like, hey, Amir, we have to cancel the trip. Why? We're not, we don't have to blow it up. Boeing, it's just, <laughs> the airplane's going to do it by it's themselves. A, inside job. It's a, yeah, what this, do you mean? With virgins, we'll go to Vegas. As virgins, yeah. we don't need to blow ourselves up. This oh. is this is the flight, and somebody's recording it just like, hey, my family's on there. And there's fuel coming out of the back. Do you see this one, right? Where is it at? This is the one, Rob? Yeah, see? But see all that stuff coming out? That's not good. That's not good, guys. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling you, I've said this. A three podcasts, four podcasts ago, something big is like they're going to lose a, f- a plane and they're finished. Nah, they're going to be finished. I don't that redemption story stuff. That you What's talk this? About, you know, it takes plane off, loses tire. Lose, watch this. Look at the tire. Watch. Ready? Ready? Hey, <laughs> oh, <laughs> guys, well, hey, imagine that. Hey, guys, just listen. <laughs> don't look outside the window. We lost the tire, but we have 13 more. <laughs> Let me add another story, then I want to get your reaction yeah. to this. FAA inspection, <laughs> check this out. Finds Boeing mechanics using dish soap <laughs> and hotel key cards as makeshift tools. What? First, when you guys told me the story yesterday, Rob, I thought this was a joke. The recent six weeks of investigation started after a large window ejected in January, revealing many quality issues. The audit found that Boeing and Spirit didn't meet necessary quality standard often. Boeing passed only 56 out of 89 product audits, failing 33 audits with 97 non-compliance instances noted. Spirit Aerosystems <laughs> underwent 13 audits, failing to meet the standard in seven instances. The FAA's report gives details, insights into issues with the manufacturing process. During the inspection, the safety agency noticed Spirit Mechanics using a hotel key card to inspect a door, <laughs> a method not specified in the official instructions the New York Times reported. Additionally, the FAA, FAA observed mechanics applying lu- liquid soap oh. as a makeshift <laughs> lubricant during assembly, later cleaning the seal with damp cheesecloth. <laughs> is, is this is this real? Dude, run? I'm never flying. <laughs> By yeah. the way, and Adam, you talked about this earlier. Yeah. Adam, Adam, do, do your part because I want to say something well, funny. I, you know, <laughs> uh, John Oliver did a whole God. expose on this. Obviously, we've been covering the story. We covered it oh. last time. But Al Jazeera went undercover, not even undercover. They went and did a report, and they started 
interviewing uh, the these people. And plays in South the, Carolina, the, the, Boeing, okay, a Boeing plane. Exactly, player. there you go. And he started asking questions, simple question, uh, <laughs> would you fly on these planes? And the responses were shocking. You know, one was like, hell no. Nah. And then there was a, look, I think this quality is kind of going down. It's kind of <laughs> going to shit. One guy's like, look, it's a little sketchy. And then one guy, I won't forget, he was like, yeah, I'd fly it. But I kind of got a little bit of a death wish. <laughs> like, what the hell's going on here? Yeah, but, I think 10 out know, of 15 said no way. What, what essentially the conclusion was is they were more focused on their stock price going up than these planes staying up in the air. And that was uh, sort of pervasive when they used their uh, slogan, their mantra, and this is in 2021, more for less. And they basically encouraged all Boeing employees, quote unquote, to play an important role in improving shareholder value. So <laughs> when you're more concerned with shareholders than customers and safety, of course, ridiculous things like this. Here's my only question. How much of this is on Boeing and how much of this is on the airlines and what they do? Okay, so like Boeing makes the planes, but when you buy it, like are you not doing safety checks? Do you not have a crew out there? Like, you know, there's some wear and tear on these airlines. Yeah. It's not like when Boeing sells you the plane, they're coming in after each flight and being like, all right, how you doing? Like, that's the airline's responsibility. So, yes, you know, I'm not shirking responsibility from Boeing. I don't know what the hell they're doing with dishwasher and credit yeah. cards. But at what point is United Airlines, American Airlines, Alaska Airlines, whatever, how much of this is on them? That's my only question. Pat, when you said the flight attendant, was it a guy or a girl? When you, when girl. 100 it was a girl. girl. Okay. Yeah. Because if, let's just be honest. The majority of flight attendants that are male mm -hmm. are in the LGBTQ. Snacks. Group. They're just like, like I like the la I, I think that's kind of if shit's going down. Could you mm -hmm. imagine the panic of a gay guy? Like, hey, guys, yeah. we're going down. Right. <laughs> it's like, wait, I don't, that guy's going to lose his shit. Fun fact. You know those guys' favorite app? What? Grindr. Grindr. Yeah, there it is. What's up, Tom? Tom? Back to the first. Day. Well, <laughs> I think Adam almost touched what, on what something. What was that word? Wait, Tom's like, I, 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 I can't. Know, where, 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 guys, listen, just put your gas Wait, mask Tom on. We're going Adam almost touched what? Yeah, what well, touched it, Adam was trying. to touch Adam, it, Tom. Adam. Yeah, I, I, I brought the, that back. I was going to say, Adam touch touched on something. Did he touch um, it? Oh, yeah, the, Tom. And it's basically, there are more than just Boeing stock price here. There's United stock price, mm -hmm. American stock price, yeah. Delta stock price, Spirit, and our good friends at Southwest. And the mechanics union is represented across the board, and each airline has their own mechanics and is responsible for maintenance. And our understanding is you read this thing, if they discover something that, that is on multiple planes the same way, Boeing comes in. But they're responsible for doing it. Right. Those tires weren't changed as a normal thing. <laughs> tires wear out on planes the way they wear out on your car. Those tires weren't changed by Boeing. They were changed by United. Correct. That's United me Mechanics there. Now, door plug on the side of the plane... I don't, I don't, Boeing took credit for that because that's the design of the plane. They're not, mm -hmm. you know, United's not screwing, putting screws on the side of the plane as regular maintenance. So it goes both sides here. But the, the first thing I want to say is, you know what? I am, I rarely compliment a government agency, but since the two crashes where they grounded the 737 MAX, there have been no crashes. And these incidents are called out and the news is big and the whistleblower, what a tragedy, that guy, um, on Boeing. But we haven't had crashes yet. Yet. And I oh, hope God. not. But our FAA is stepping in and this is the government agency mm -hmm. doing what it's supposed to do. Step in and say, WTF, guys, you can't have that. You airline have to be doing maintenance. You Boeing. And then United says, hey, those other planes I ordered, don't make them. I'm not taking them. And the FAA is mm -hmm. backing them up. That's on well, the, we, the, we the 10 back. Great point, Tom, that it's, it is on the mechanics within the airlines. But we have had crashes. Thank God it just happened. Hasn't happened in the United States. You know, we forget Indonesia flight. Never. Those are the two crashes I off, mentioned on never the 737 Max. If Ethiopia took off, so like, imagine you're just going on a flight. Oh God. Hey, I'll see you in a few my hours. Biggest fear. You never heard from again. It's my biggest fear. Think God. I mean, God. Well, I'm thinking about, but it's like there's been five in in a month. It's like, guys, you, what what are they doing to I mean, change? What's the question when people are on flight? Like the fear. What do you call that? There's a there like f fear, fear of flying. Well, my fear yeah. of flying. Rob, Rob, can you can you put a poll and oh, ask? God. Do you have a fear of flying? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yes, no, 
A little bit. A little bit. Something By the like way, that. he did a poll last time, Rob. What were the results with that? Like, would you feel comfortable flying yeah, Boeing? Yeah, no, people what were was concerned. It? I'm just saying. What was the poll I, results last time, Rob? Because. It was like 70, 30, 80, 20 that oh they God. were concerned. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, 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 but the thing is, like, for the people who are afraid of flying, I want to sit next to them. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I want to sit next to them. I just want to be like, did you feel that? <laughs> Do you Whoa. smell yeah. turbulence? Turbulence. Did you look, 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 look outside. Oh my God. Oh my God, they're turning. Something's going on. Oh no. Is that, did something come <laughs> off? The, you know who I want to sit plane? next to? PBD? <laughs> you know who I want to sit next to? I want to sit next to a big, manly guy who's a little bit scared of heights. Yeah, That's yeah, what I want to scared of heights. <laughs> yeah. Not on planes, though. For me, it's, right. it's called balconies on the yeah. 60th floor, and you're standing looking over, saying, Look at this view here. I'm oh like, yeah, no. man, I'm thinking four <laughs> kids. Not gonna happen exactly. with me. Oh no, huh? But uh, uh, but yeah. So what does it say? Yes, you have a fear of flying. You know, yes, no, a little bit. You know what to help me 27%. overcome my fear of flying? Because I used to get a little uh, anxiety with it. I was flying. This was when I was dating the girl from London, and we were flying back from London back to Miami, and we were sitting next to a pilot. You know, sometimes like a pilot will yeah. catch a ride, and like you know the plane and, the, and yeah, it's, go, it's like turbulence, and like you know you just hold out. Whoa. And it, w it was a lady, actually. She's like, you know what? Why? What's going on here? You know? Yeah, a lady pilot, United. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Uh, and I go, yeah, I don't know. Just she goes, listen, you're from Miami. You've been on a boat before. You know, when you're going over the waves, there's like a little bit of turbulence. It's the waves. That's all this is. It's just you're going over airwaves. Like that's a like, cool. Yeah. It's just like a boat, baby. <laughs> Welcome to Miami. So that helped me actually a little bit. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.